Hey guys, I'm Leila Kalan. I'm back with the fourth ventricle today. Um, our mnemonic is some say that risotto tastes amazing. Now you can think of any food item that you like and that starts with R and put it there. <coughs> so let's write our letters down. We have S, S, T, R, T and A. Um, before we move on, I'd like to tell you that for the ventricles, you need to know the roof, the lateral walls, the floor and like basically the borders. So we'll start with the We're going to start with the roof. So I'm going to write here. Oops. So S is the superior cerebellar peduncle. And when we have the cerebellar peduncle, the superior, then we also have the inferior one but that doesn't come under the roof. Then we move on to the superior medullary vellum. And when I write superior again, we know that there is an inferior and that comes under the roof. So you have and the inferior medullary vellum. Then you have T, which is the tela choroidea or the choroid plexus, okay? Then we move on to the floor. The floor is the rhomboid fossa. Then we have the lateral walls. Oh my God, this. Then we've got um, tuberculum, gristle, which remember is on the medulla and cuneatus. They form the gristle and the cuneatus tracts. And that, and you've got the inferior cerebellar peduncle. There goes the borders, and uh, one more thing you need to know is the the apertures so you've got three oh A stands for apertures so you've got three you've got two lateral ones and one medial the lateral aperture is of is named like the aperture of Lushka or Luchka and the medial one is of Magendi or Magendi. Okay, so uh, you have the third ventricle through the cerebral aqueduct, which is in the midbrain. You go to the fourth ventricle, and through these three openings, you go to the subarachnoid space which goes to the superior sagittal sinus. Okay. Um, yes, and the base of the fourth ventricle forms the urbex. Then um, it's filled with the CSF. You know that the ventricles are filled with the cerebrospinal fluid. And one more thing that you need to know is that this fourth ventricle is a common location of an intracranial pendimonal tumor. Intracranial pendimonal tumor. So this is the fourth ventricle, it's behind the brainstem, so the pons and the medulla, and in front of the cerebellum, so it's sandwiched 
between both of them. You can see the medullary vellum, you can see the superior medullary vellum, and obviously if it's the cerebellum over here, you can have the superior and the inferior cerebellar peduncles.